Hela, South Africa. You are running out of time. You can see it everywhere. Young people need jobs. She needs to own the land her business is on. Why give her grant money only to take it away from her rates in Texas? This must stop Manchi. He needs the clinic open for 24 hours. Manchi. Women need to feel safe and protected. Not tomorrow. Manchi. We need accountability. Manchi. When you vote EFF, you vote for yourself, your land, your jobs. Manja! 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 On the 1st of November, vote EFF. Vote for you. So, you know, I'm not a big fan at all of public school in this country. I believe public school now, all it does is indoctrinate uh, children and it doesn't educate them whatsoever. Case in point, I can always tell with the reading comprehension of a lot of people online and the listening comprehension of a lot of people online. And most of them went to public school. That's why I can't stand it. Now, in this video, you got this teacher, you know, just a Karen type teacher. And she's trying to imitate, you know, Native American people. I want you to look at what she's doing. And, and I know good well Native American people wasn't even acting this way. I mean, this woman didn't lost her last mind, but let's roll this clip. Okay. I, I just ran into the rock god. Oh my god. And he spit out. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> this is just too much. <laughs> he spit out these beautiful rocks. Which my children painted. I pulled them out of my pantry. No, wait, no, no. no but the, the rock god did this. <clears throat> Thank you, Rock God, for these beautiful... Now, I don't know if you saw in the video, you saw, like, the little young brother, you know, just sitting up there looking at first, like, what's going on? And, and, and like, this, this is what our children are subjected to in public school. This is why I'm just a big advocate of private school or homeschool. And those private schools ran by us. Only in a rare instance, if I'm cool with a public school, but that public school has to be in a city that's controlled by us. The city council is ran by us. And I'm not talking about boule. I'm talking about real brothers and sisters. Understand what I'm saying? Cause you know, you can have these cities and it'd be full of boule. And you know, boule is just black representation of white supremacy. So if it's boule, you might well have them folks running it, right? 
So if it's not a situation like that, black control and, and things like that, where the teachers actually care about the students, I'm just not for public school whatsoever. I'm not. These Karens run rampant in these schools. Now that was very disrespectful to Native American people, in my opinion. I wouldn't have done nothing like that. But see, I respect all people. There's a difference. Karen don't respect nobody. Now she was suspended and rightfully so. But this is what children are being subjected to on top of the other indoctrination that they're trying to put kids into instead of educating them about, you know, science and, and math and, you know, getting them involved uh, with, you know, uh, their spelling and uh, anything, other subjects they should be learning, right? I mean, his, there's nothing wrong with teaching history. And a lot of times kids, uh, you know, struggle in history because they don't know how to teach it. Because I can tell you, People like to learn about history. It just depends on the teacher or the presenter. I have done history videos that have done well. So it is not, it is not that people don't want to learn about history. It is the presenter of that said history. And you can't lie to people either about that history. You know, you imitating those people. Why don't you sit there and tell how your ancestors that came to this country was you know, slaughtering those people when you brought all your diseases from Europe. Why don't you talk about that portion of it? Why don't you talk about the portion where your people was taking big rocks and smashing, you know, the baby native American babies and killing them for fun. Tell me, you know, you know what I'm saying? Could you imagine that? Just, just killing people for fun. That's just something they wanted to do. Tell that part of history. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying, Oh, but telling the truth about you and everything well, in America, is what they're lying and saying now is critical race theory and critical race theory is taught at the collegiate level, not elementary, not junior high, not high school. But once again, that goes back to the same term. Critical race theory is the same thing when someone says homophobic. It doesn't mean what they say it means at all. You're making up words, you're making up terms, you're lying, etc. But, yeah, th these schools are riddled with these Karens. They're riddled with them. And you wonder why our kids don't learn nothing. You wonder why they suspend it. You wonder why they, they had a race soldiers messing with them. It's just a cesspool. Let me tell you something. During the pandemic, when everything was locked down, black children actually enjoyed themselves more because they wasn't underneath constant uh, turmoil. And they actually learned in peace. In peace. I know in-person learning is, is better. Trust me, I know it's better, but my God, these Karens, like I said, they, they on purpose to make sure to put these uh, females in the schools. Colonization never ended in the white supremacist system. And as we see today, the colonization is in the mind. Now those who have been enslaved and those who have been colonized, we're still dealing with the remnants of that through the colonization of the mind. Pick up my book, Seven Steps to Decolonize the Mind, and we will help deprogram you from the colonization that was put upon you by generations and generations of white supremacy. You can pick it up today on Amazon.com.